Hello, everybody. Welcome to Behind the Mic. I'm Gary Laubach. He's not Mike Joseph. It's John Leone sitting in for Mike. No inside the huddle this week either. We thought about putting John inside the huddle, but we figured we'd get a delay of game <laughs> penalty if we did that. So John is uh, uh, sitting alongside of me today to talk about, it's finally here, the Patriot League season as the Georgetown Hoyas will entertain the Leopards on Saturday at noon. Obviously, you can watch the ball game on the Patriot League network. Georgetown under Coach Rob Scarlotta certainly is better, 4-2, and two, but I think they feel like they should be 4-1, and 1-0 one, one and oh in the Patriot League. And, John, that did not happen on Saturday uh, when they took on Fordham, lost in the last 17 seconds or seven seconds, I guess, of that ball game. They lose by three. They're going to be, uh, they're gonna be down a little bit, but certainly up enough to want to win the the next ball game in the Patriot League. You're right, Gary. It's still a football team that's playing with a renewed confidence. And what was strange about that loss is that Fordham drove 73 yards against a defense, uh, Georgetown, that they've really hung their hat mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. on their defense historically. Now, having said that, they did put up over 500 yards of offense against Fordham. So who knows what to expect? I do know this. Um, Lafayette has played only one team uh, that is below 500. Uh, four of the six teams they've played are in the CAA. Uh, the Ivy League teams they've played are Penn and Princeton. It has been a gauntlet of a non-league schedule. Georgetown has taken a different pathway. Mm -hmm. Now, that said, they're 4-2. and two. You are what your record says you are. But this is a team that feels like uh, they've arrived at a point where they can compete in the uh, Patriot League. Well, sticking with the Hoyas, they get 33 points a game, so they're pretty good offensively. They only give up 13 points a game. They're pretty good defensively, and they've got some outstanding players. They have a couple of quarterbacks, only this week it looks like they're only going to have one available. Joseph Brunel looks like he's out. He ended up the game last week in a sling. But Gunther Johnson's a three-year starter, big kid, 6'1", 195, and he throws the ball real well, 64%, but he may even run it better. Yeah, he's it's certainly a dual threat, uh, Gary. And before last week's game, I would I would kind of refer to, uh, to Gunther as a game manager, but mm -hmm. his numbers uh, on Saturday belie that. He really uh, put up huge numbers, was the critical factor. Uh, what I wonder about with Brunel uh, possibly not available is how does that impact Lafayette's game preparation? It's a lot different uh, preparing for two quarterbacks mm -hmm. than it is for one, mm -hmm. so that may play into things. And a little bit more difficult to prepare for a running quarterback, and certainly Gunther Johnson is that. They're not absent in talent either. At running back, Moultrie, uh, Herman Moultrie is very good. Seven touchdowns already on the season. He's only a sophomore, played quite a bit last year as a freshman. Their wide receivers are outstanding. Michael Dar uh, Darius along with Joshua Thomas, uh, both of them are great. They've already put up big numbers. And in fact, Thomas this past week, 170 all-purpose yards. That's a season for a lot of guys, not for him in that particular game. And Justin Fontenot is an outstanding linebacker, leads the team in tackles, had 13 of them this past week. Before we get to the Leopards and taking on uh, Georgetown in their first Patriot League game, the Patriot League right now, and we're in week two of Patriot League action, is a mess. Gary, it's unbelievable. I mean, the, every week there seems to be another eye opener. Uh, you know, uh, Bucknell goes up to uh, to Colgate, uh, Colgate perennial uh, powerhouse. Uh, they're really struggling, um, and and you know, Lehigh uh, got off to a shaky start. They also went up to Colgate. Colgate really struggling at 0-6. Who who saw that coming? Um, you know, Gary, the league is absolutely mm -hmm. wide open. So uh, in that sense, it's a new start uh, for a team like Lafayette. Uh, the Patriot League season is ahead of them. John Gary. Garrett, the eternal optimist, always staying positive, saying we're very close, we're very close. But you know, Gary, when you're 0-6, getting over the hump can feel like scaling uh, uh, the Grand Canyon mm -hmm. walls. Mm -hmm. It's it's just a different feel. I think Lafayette's going to have to get off to a good start. I mean, we always say that in a lot of games. I mean, that can be a, a generic term. But I think given the 0-6 record, given where they are, is this a fragile team emotionally? John Garrett will tell you no. Gary, when you're 0-6, you feel like 0-6. Getting off to a good start against Fordham on the road, first Patriot League season game, that's going to be important. Well, it certainly is going to be important. And again, you know, this is how crazy the league is. Colgate was picked to finish first. They are now 0-2 and probably already out of the championship picture. I don't think you can lose two games and be in that title, the title race. Bucknell was picked to finish last. Bucknell just knocked off Colgate. And certainly uh, Fordham looks good, Georgetown looks good. So uh, the opportunity is there, and that uh, allows us to reflect back on this past Friday night's game 
against a very, very good Princeton team. And there were positives that came out of that game. I thought our defense played really well. Uh, I thought that Yazir Thomas, Ryan Dickens were just outstanding in that football game. But again, the offensive line gave up too many sacks in that game. And it was not Keegan's best game of, the, of his career so far. Gary, you know, coaches, it, it's common knowledge. I mean, football, it's the ultimate team sport. Of course, you've got to play complementary football. And as well as the defense performed, Gary, you know, they need support uh, from their offense. And, and uh, uh, Lafayette was unable to su really sustain any drives. It comes down to turnovers. It comes down to converting third downs. Uh, but when your defense is out on the field for that long against a quality opponent, um, eventually you're going to pay for it. And that's, I think, what happened on Friday. Yeah, and there's no question Princeton ranked number 19 in the nation. Princeton's defense is ranked right up near the top. Their offense ranked right up near the top. They were getting 44 points a game. Lafayette gave them 28, had a great goal line stand. But you can't go two for 13 in a ball game on third down opportunities and win the football game. And the Leopards just couldn't rush the ball very well. They didn't get a lot of protection uh, back there for their quarterback, and that caused them some problems. Let's hope. John says they're, uh, they want to get over the hump. Let's hope they're maybe at the middle of the hump right now, and it's going to be a little bit easier to get over that hump on Saturday at noon. We look forward to the ball game. We'll be back with you next week, of course, Bucknell, and then we'll have that ball game for you on Saturday afternoon. So for John, I'm Gary. Mike Joseph not with us today. We miss him. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Thanks for joining us.